The first I heard about this was early Saturday morning. I got a text message from Pastor Mejia, you know, before this had hit the news or anything, just when it just happened, and he said, hey, you know, they bombed our church building. I'm here with the FBI, the bomb squad, and the police, and whatever. But he actually, let me, in fact, let me just read you the message exactly, because I, I want to get this right. <laughs> this is really multimedia preaching here. here. Here's what he said. Hi, Pastor. They blew up our church. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, it's a, you know, the reason we can laugh about this is because persecution's a blessing, amen. But but anyway, let me try to get my composure here so I can actually read this. It says, "Hi, pastor. They blew up our church. I'm here with the FBI and bomb squad." And the, you know, the first thought that I had when I saw that, you know, you get up in the morning and you you read that. My first thought was, well, they didn't really blow up his church. They just blew up the building. Amen. That was my first thought was just, they, well, you they didn't blow up your church. They just blew up the building. And, and here's the thing about that. At least now that the building was blown up, the children won't have to be subjected to the filth and garbage that they were supposed to be subjected to today, what they were planning on having this filthy show outside of the church so that all the people going into the church. And make no mistake about it, these people are a bunch of freak pedophiles and they want kids to see this stuff. Because if you remember back in 2016 when Verity Baptist was going through this, on the news, the, the guy literally says on the news, we're hoping that children will see this on their way into church and that seeds would be planted in their mind. You guys remember that? It was on the, it's what they said verbatim. Why? Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. And that's what these people want to do. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, at least now that the building's blown up, now they can have church in peace. Because now they're just meeting at a different location and there's going to be no drag queens and sodomite freaks and trannies out there. Hey, it's a win-win. It's just a building. And you know what? Every single building on this world is going to be gone someday. All of them. This building we're sitting in is going to be gone. But I'm re-preaching my sermon from last Sunday. So I don't want to go off on that kick about how everything's temporary because you could just listen to last week's sermon for that.